Columbus Regional Hospital is getting its own police force. The announcement comes after two years of WRTV investigates asking questions about ghost employment involving police officers working hospital security. Our Kara Kenny joins us now with the plans underway and why the hospital says they are making the changes. Columbus Regional Hospital has 225 beds and serves a 10 county area. In the past, they've contracted out security services to local police officers, but that is now changing. Hospitals can be a dangerous place for patients and staff. Columbus Regional Hospital says they're seeing an increased risk as part of a national trend. One of the biggest trends that we've seen is um, violence or threats against healthcare personnel. It can be a very stressful environment. It can be a very confusing environment. Columbus Regional Hospital is creating its own police force, which will have eight certified police officers who've been through the state academy. Current CRH employee Anthony Pope will serve as their first hospital police chief. And then we'll have five um, non-police um, officer staff members that could be available when certain situations maybe don't require um, that full full law enforcement approach. On December 23rd, just last month, two former Columbus police officers, Daniel Meister and Ronald May, pleaded guilty to ghost employment after state police found they worked security at Columbus Regional Hospital while on the clock for the city. The hospital terminated both contracted employees in November 2018. Taxpayers told us they're concerned about Columbus police officers having second and third jobs that could conflict with their police duties. Additional policies and procedures should be put in place. It needs to be locked down. Um, you need to be on the job. WRTV Investigates has learned Indiana State Police is now conducting another criminal investigation into whether additional police officers also had overlapping shifts at the hospital. That investigation is still ongoing. Can you explain what role did that play in CRH getting its own police force? Uh, had nothing to do with our decision to become our own health police um, department. The planning and preparation for that was underway prior to um, this in current investigation as it stands. All of the scrutiny that the city and CRH has faced regarding ghost employment, you're saying that the new police force does not have anything to do with that? They're not related um, because we did not make the decision to engage in the process to become our own police force based on these allegations and the incidents that took place. Um, they are connected by coincidental timing only. Columbus Regional Hospital is taking both internal and outside applicants for its new police force and officers who have already been through the academy will get health care specific training. It's something large hospital systems are already doing, but a change Columbus Regional Hospital says is needed to better protect patients and staff. In terms of timing, Columbus Regional Hospital hopes to have its new police force fully up and running by the end of this year. Working for you, Kara Kenny, WRTV. WRTV Investigates has requested numbers on how much this change will impact taxpayers. We are still waiting on those figures. We also reached out to Columbus Police and the Bartholomew County Sheriff's Office for their thoughts on the new hospital police force, and we are still waiting on statements.